see the radar dry up throughout the rest of this evening after a gentle rain throughout much of the afternoon. Fairly quiet on satellite and radar right now, and we'll continue to see that trend into the evening and overnight hours. Here's future track. Cloudy conditions. Uh, shouldn't see any changes to that throughout much of the night. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, some drizzly conditions are back, and we'll keep an eye on that looming round of potential thunderstorms for later on the day. But tonight through tomorrow morning, again, Drizzly at best for the most part, though, will be cloudy, dry, and a little foggy. Watch out for that if you're going to be out driving late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Kind of hard to see with some of that patchy fog that could set up across the state line, but not expecting widespread fog. We have a milder night ahead, temperatures only down to around 40 degrees. And then we have to keep an eye on tomorrow's round of soggy weather. It could come with plenty of thunderstorm activity. The basic setup here is we have cold air to our north, lots of warmth and humidity to our south, and those kind of sandwich us as a result into tomorrow evening. And a low pressure system coming on in is what's going to help cause some wind shear. That's what we need uh, for possibly strong to even severe thunderstorms. So there's plenty of factors in play here, but the setup is there for stronger activity. That's why the severe storm risk is up to a two on our scale, widespread around Illinois. The main threat would be hail and damaging winds across the area, along with some heavy rainfall. So stand your toes tomorrow. Make sure you stay alert and have a way to get weather alerts just in case. As we turn to future track, you'll see that that line of heavier showers and possible storms moves in during the afternoon. This round not expected to be severe. Uh, this is out ahead of the main push of very warm and humid air. That comes in behind this and primes the atmosphere for stronger to severe storms. Note that future track, though, doesn't show a lot of very dangerous activity. You can see it's fairly quiet across the evening and then going into the early overnight hours, with the exception of this little cell here around 10 p.m. Uh, the thought process here is that that cold front that would bring in severe weather maybe lagging behind a little here until we get to late in the overnight hours. So that could help us reduce our risk for severe weather. So as you can see, a couple factors in play here. Depends on the timing of the cold front. If that comes in late in the afternoon and evening, that does give us a good chance for severe weather. You can see we'll be drying out as we head into Friday morning. So low risks for damaging wind gusts and large hail. Can't completely rule out a risk for isolated tornadoes. A very low one, mainly to the west of I-39. All depends on the timing of that cold front, though. If that does not arrive on time, likely limits our chances for severe weather. But be ready for possible strong thunderstorms starting late tomorrow afternoon, likely after 4 p.m., lasting as late as midnight. With all of this, a lot of warm air moving in. Temperatures close to 60 degrees with the possibility of those storms moving in late. So look ahead in the forecast. It's only one day near 60. We're dropping nearly 30 degrees, a cold Friday ahead, and then trying to warm up as we go over the course of the weekend. 50s back by early next week with a chance for rain on Tuesday. James and Kristen. Alex, thanks. Still to come, quarterback competition. The Chicago Bears bringing a former Super Bowl.